today is October 21st, which is, uh, as everyone said a million times now, Back to the Future Day. Um, today is the day Marty McFly was supposed to go to the future. A, are you a Back to the Future fan? No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen any of the movies? No, I haven't. Are you a communist? <laughs> are, you, are you against, are you a part, are you American? Are you an alien? <laughs> How have you not seen Back to the Future? What's I, happening? I, what are you guys doing? Or what, what's your camp doing? I don't know. I never saw that. What is it? Tell me about it. What do you mean? Oh, oh, what do you mean, no. Dage Loaf? I don't know. I'm from Detroit. Is that, no, no, no. That's no. not an excuse? No, no it's not. <laughs> Detroit is very much America. A hundred percent. I don't know. I don't okay, know. Okay, Back to the Future. How old are you? 22? 23? Around there. Give, just give me a ballpark. Yeah. Were you born in Tell the 90s? Early 20s. I was born in the 90s. Okay, she's okay. born. In, I was trying to find a room. Early, I'm trying to help you out. Early 90s. Okay, you were born in the early 90s. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to give you some room because the first one came out in 85, second one was 89, third one was like 90 or something. So. <laughs> I do, I, I, I've never had someone ask me, tell me about Back to the Future. What's that about? <laughs> um, so, Back to the Future is uh, about a guy named Marty, Marty, Marty McFly, McFly. Which I've heard of. Okay, okay, and he goes to high school to Hill Valley, a high or whatever, or that's where he lives, is Hill Valley. And he. For some reason, even though he's a 16-year-old kid, he's friends with some old scientist named Doc Brown who invents um, a, time a time machine. machine. By inventing, he fell on his toilet one day and he hits his head and he comes up with a vision for the flux capacitor, which is the key to time travel. So then Doc Brown gets in bed with the Libyans and they give him this stuff that he needs, plutonium, so he can make the time machine work. So... They have this DeLorean, which was popping at the time. That's the car that you're going to see people put on Instagram today. Yeah, all day you're going to see the car with the doors. The original doors, suicide doors, right? I saw that. I saw that. Okay, yes, There you go. So they go back in time (laughs) in this time machine, and Marty ends up accidentally going back to 1955. So he goes back 30 years in the same town where he's from, and he sees, like, he ends up meeting his parents when they were in high school. And so essentially what he finds out is... Anything he does will fuck up the future. Because if you go back in time and interrupt anything, you throw off the rest of time. Mm -hmm. So he has to go back and find Doc Brown 30 years earlier and explain to him. God, the movie's so good when I describe it. I'm excited. He's like, in 30 years, Doc. I know you don't know me, but in 30 years we're friends and you invented time travel and I'm back here now because of you. Help me get back to the future. He's trying to get back. Back to the future! <laughs> and that's the movie! <laughs> Mind blown. I gotta, I gotta Dave, see. Dave, please, can you please, please watch it? I got you, like, okay. um, yeah. It's I'm, a trilogy. I'm gonna put that on my to-do list. It sounds, are you being serious though? No, because you're, you're. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I never, like, I've heard, like I say, Marty McFly. I've heard of the, the, the hoverboard. I've seen the car. Yes, okay. I've seen all the whole so she kind of knows. But I just never saw it. Well, I'm not we, gonna lie, like I have. No, don't perpetrate. You can't perpetrate. I appreciate that. I appreciate I, you that know, I too. told, I admitted this week I've never seen Wild Style. And guess what, Laura? Oh. I, have, I have never seen Wild Style. I'm not a real old school hip hop head. Apparently, it's like hip hop Jesus. Where are you? What's happening? Please, hip hop Jesus. <laughs>